and welcome to another great cat basic demonstration i'm just going to quickly show you how to put some pictures on a glcd so what we're looking at i've got the gc code editor i've got a camera pointing down at a glcd if i just do a reset on that for you you can see it paint its funky stuff has it done it there you go and basically what it's doing it's drawing a bmp it's actually drawing a color um, it's just drawing i called it bmp but it's actually a, um it's actually a png i believe so we'll just change that to png just to be absolutely correct i'll we'll call my routine png and we are drawing a png waiting for five seconds then put some text on the screen i can move the position of the um move the position of the uh, GLCD, uh, the picture um, around the screen just by changing the, the top left uh, position of it. So top left and then everything is drawn in the X direction and then the Y direction. So it's just clearing the screen and you can see what it's doing. So I have a routine and essentially what it does, it reads in a file, uh, converts that, it, we've converted the file into a table and then once that table is inserted into our program, we can then just read through it. So how do we do that? Well, we have a routine called um, draw PNG. It's got an X position and a Y position and that is the top left. We define some variables, and those variables will contain the table read positions, the position of the current uh, traversing through the x and y axis, the object width and height. We just need that. Uh, a read position in a very long table, and then the x, y coordinates that we're actually going to be using, and that is these variables here. I'll show you that on the screen. There we go. Now, if I get rid of that. I'll walk the code. So basically what I do is I read the table. I start off at position one, and I read a table called smile, read position one, and I read the object width. Width. I did the same at position two for the object height. So our data in the table needs to have the width and height as its first and second position, respectively. Then all it does is quite simply, it it increments through table reposition from three through to the end, essentially reading that data. It's going to go traverse the y-axis by one point and then draw all the x-axis. Then it will increment the y-axis and then draw all the x-axis. And how do we do that? We read the table data here called smile, that read position, which is incremented, post read by one and it puts in something called pixel data and we're going to send pixel rgb data direct to the glcd how do i know where to put it on the screen well we've got this little calculation of tftx and that essentially says what was the start position provided by you in your code and what is the current value of the x count and the x count is incrementing through and then it says okay and the y position is the my position provided by the call to this routine and then I increment the Y. Then we put the pixel data on the screen using something called PSET. PSET is common across all GLCDs. I send an X position and Y position and a pixel a color and it will draw what we want. I'll prove that to you. I have got paint open and in paint I have got picture. Well, if I put a red line underneath it and save it, I can then show you that this is live. So what, do I'm, what am I using? I'm using something called Image Converter. An Image Converter is um, on, up on the public domain and it actually converts PNG files into, um, it converts many files into data. So how do I go about doing that? We'll have a look at that. I'm just going to open the image. My image I'm pulling in is called GC Studio PNG. And as you can see, it's got a red line underneath it. And that red line, I'll open it again. Got a red line. I've just drawn that. I'm going to rescale that to 
about 110 pixels uh, because we need to get it in the program memory. Then I'm going to save. Once it's rescaled it, I'm going to save it and it gives me a default name of gcstudio.c. So by the time you get to read this um, or see this video, probably there'll be an option there for Great Cow Basic and the table creation process I'm about to show you may be automated. So here goes. I've got I've opened that file previously, gcstudio.c, and it's a lot of data. Okay, basically it's all laid out for C, and the reality is I could write a converter for this, but I can't even bother. Right, so let's go to the bottom of the data and just change that to a GCB table, end, end table. There we go. Now. Let me just move that camera because I'm just going to use the I'm just going to use this in here look, to get to the top, and then in the top, I'm just going to take away all that C stuff and define a table called Smile. Should be a word as a word because we're using words, and then I need to give it the parameters of the size, and we know that that was correct because that's what we said. Uh, that we need, we need to read the the object um, height and width of those two variables. Now, because this is C's data, there's a little bit of an issue here. Is that this comma at the end will cause you a problem? So you just need to replace. Um, I'll just cursor down on the screen so you can see it, or I'll turn off the I'll turn off the camera. Here we go. I'm just going to replace this here control C control H and then I'm just I'm just going to get rid of the camera but if I press the one key sorry control V I'm just going to replace it by getting rid of that comma and then do a mass and it will just get rid of that comma at the end great so what I've done is I've created a table called smile added in two X the explicitly width and height and I've terminated the table with end table control C back into my source program okay and my source program I'm just going to delete all that and then paste in my new table function key F5 to program bring the camera back in It says item cannot be. Oh, there's a comma at the end. My error. Hey, that was a good example of a bug. So it couldn't put, uh, it was looking for more data on that line and there is no data there. So it comes up with an error. And that was the same error as the C table that we resolved. It's now loading in a big file into that uh, program, into the program memory. So I've written a little program today, which basically reads PNGs. No, file looks correct as well. And so to put it back as it was, I should go back into here, just save it. And we've actually done exactly, we've actually converted that file. And so you can bring in other files, um, you can convert them as much as you like, uh, to be quite frank. Um, there were other pictures of, um, let me just pull in another picture. GC Studio, Converters, PMP, what's this one here? I don't know, really. It's black. That's not very good, is it? What pixel was that? 128 by 64. That should fit on our screen. And so I'm just going to put that where I have it in a new folder. It's called anubium.c. I'm actually just going to put it in that same file called GC Studio for laziness, okay? And now if I look at my source file in here, you can see I've actually got 
a picture that is now 128 by 64. It's a lot less bytes. So I should be able to do this exactly the same. Table, I'm going to call it smile just to keep my as a word. It is 128 comma 64. I'm going to replace that comma at the end of here, end of each line. It's got rid of it for me. I shall change that to end table. Control C, back into my source program. Delete the existing table. Here we have a very long to the tables so I've sucked in a, a different um, type of file but look it's on the screen so you can play with the blacks and the whites and the colors and the whatever, but you can put pictures on the screen within the constraint. So it puts it in program memory. This is not optimized. So be very frank. You could be a very smart person to sit down and write an optimizer that took all this data and said, OK, I have seen one F. I've seen this value of FFFF and I've seen it for X amount of times. You could write an optimizer. I have already written optimizers and you can get these file sizes down to really, really small lengths. And so what you do in the optimizer, you would say, oh, the value of FFFF has been seen for X amount of times, hundreds of times, whatever it is. And then in the, in the read routine, it wouldn't be as simple as this. You'd actually say, uh, you'd read your data in and you'd have to handle your optimizer. But you can write an optimizer. It's extremely simple. So I wanted to show you how to put some pictures on the screen. Write some code. Very simple.